New tonight at 530 as we head into the busy summer pool season concerns about electric shock drowning are on the rise. But tonight one mother in California is developing a device and an app which would monitor the conditions of any body of water to ensure it's not electrified. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lundberg explains how this device could save lives. Public and private pools are annually inspected, right? So what happens though when the inspectors leave? Water can unexpectedly become electrified and that's where Waves is stepping in, making waves and preventing electric shock. When my kids go to someone else's house, swimming pool party, right? How do I know that that pool is properly maintained, that this condition won't occur there? Although electric shock drowning or ESD seems rare, it happens. I had to jump in to touch her, and as soon as I touched it, I felt a shock run through me. NBC Charlotte reported this 911 call a couple years ago about a 17-year-old, Rachel Rosoff, who was found floating face down in a community pool. An autopsy confirming the teen likely died from electrocution. It's an invisible danger. Which is why Natalie Farood, founder of Waterhawk Technologies, created Waves, a permanently installed device that silently monitors water conditions. So this is the this, uh, proprietary skimmer lid that would replace your regular skimmer lid um, around the pool. And then this is a flexible track that would go around your pool and it has sensors that are strategically placed within your pool and it has um, a little transmitter on the end that talks to um, the pool cover. The device wirelessly communicates with you through your app or your home alarm system. The product is still in the funding and developing stages. A lot more information is posted for you on WCNC.com. I'm Rachel Lundberg reporting for NBC Charlotte.